No way. Mate, look at that. Look at that drop. That's sick. That is the best drop I've ever had. Yo, how are we doing guys? So I'm going to be showing you my way, how I loot on Infestation UZ Survivor Mode. Um, I'm going to start off by showing you the absolute minimum that you should be taking with you. If you don't have these items, then I don't suggest going down. Um, then we'll get onto the location and, you know, everything else. So, the starting gear for you actually doing this. You're going to be wanting night vision goggles. Like, I guarantee you need night vision goggles when you're doing this. Um, some bandages because you're going to get hit by zombies. Like, you might, you're going to get hit every now and then by a couple of zombies. I bring... You don't really need the painkillers and antibiotics, but I bring these in case I'm being shot at. Um, you know, because you are going to see players every now and then. So these aren't a definite, like, but I do really, really recommend them. Uh, the CO1 vaccine, I highly recommend that because you are going to get hit by zombies every now and then and there is a chance of you getting infected. Um, a two-shot weapon, I'd say bring a three-shot minimum, but you'd be better off bringing a two-shot because then you can get... Uh, get rid of the zombies faster so you you know you can do the loot run faster um some type of gun like with a lot of bullets like this holds a hundred bullets um you're taking on super mutants you know you're gonna want it's say if you've got an assault rifle like a scar you're gonna want a scar with say six clips all right you want let's say six just bring and it's like it's like five clips to kill them but we'll just bring a spare like six clips this is your minimum just for one kill as well don't forget um like that's i'd say that's your bare minimum just make sure you've got enough bullets to do it uh bring a decent weapon bring some night vision goggles a seal vaccine some food and water just to get started we're gonna find cans of pop and chocolate bars way down there and we, you do find enough to keep so your hunger and thirst up you're fine with that but you are going to need some starting stuff and obviously bandages so now we're going to jump onto the server show your location so you how the, show you how the loot run is done let's get into it all right, so we're in the server, right? So where you want to be coming is right up north, right up here. This is where we're going to be farming, this very top road here. Whenever you change server, you will respawn here. Like this is where you'll land. And um, all you're going to do is run northeast, back up to the top. It's about a 45 seconds, one minute run. I'm going to skip that part now. So I'll see you when we get there. All right, so now we're here. Basically, we're just gonna be running straight up to the back of this truck, trying to dodge all these zombies because we don't want to lose any health. We don't wanna, obviously, we don't want to waste his bandages. That one may hit me. No. We're good, we're good. Let's clear these off as fast as possible. All right, make sure you grab all your Painkillers, bandages, and cloth that the zombies drop. Right, there is two ways to fight in this guy. There is on top of the bus and out of bounds. I'm going to show you the out of bounds way now, and then I will show you a clip of me doing it on the bus. Um, I only suggest doing it on top of the bus if, like, and practice jumping up first. Make sure you can do it. You've got to be quick, but it saves you some time and it saves you getting hit. So let's try and find this big guy. Where is he? I've just seen him. There he is. Alright, we've got his attention. So basically, where we come from, we're just going to run back there. It's as simple as that. This zombie's going to hit me. I already feel it. This first tree here, this is where you want to be getting to. Alright, so this tree here, uh, the, it's the very first tree if you're running southwest. As soon as you get a couple of steps past that, you can turn around and you know you'll be fine. Probably if you hit me then. And boom, there you go. You can't come past there. But, you know, you're spending a bit of time, you're running back to where people, you know, other players are going to spawn, so you don't really want to be here. Um, all these weapons that you're seeing me with, like, these are all weapons that I've picked up just for this like i don't collect these guns i just pick them up for the extra bullets to shoot him with so i save my own ammo so i'm gonna wipe him out as fast as i can now 
There we go. It took me two and a half clips. That usually takes around five to five and a half. We've got K-Style. Night Vision, yes. Thank you. And a Sig Saucer 556. That is brilliant. I'm just remove that again. That is absolutely awesome. Right, so I am, I'm going to show you a second clip now on how to beat him on top of the bus. Um, like I said, you're going to get out. Um, you're just going to be able to kill him a lot faster. Try and get run out here and then run back in. And then I'll show you the rest of the, the, rest of the loot run. And we'll just go, like, see how it goes from there. All right, so here's the second way. The second way where you can be safe to kill him. Basically, you're just going to go back to the start where you killed the zombies. On the front of the car, onto the side. Jump from the side onto the bus door, and then off the bus door onto the top, where you can get an easy kill. It's as easy and simple as that. Yes! <clears throat> Come on. Large backpack, and another 100 bullets. Very good drop. Alright, so the rest of the loot run, you're going to find yourself a lot of plastic, a lot of metal, a lot of cans of pop, and a lot of chocolate. And then, at the end of it, you are going to find yourself maybe a couple of assault rifles, maybe a couple of attachments. MP5 there, thank you. I like MP5s. I know they're not great weapons, I just like them. Um, you want to do this as fast as you can, because then you can get back onto the, like, you can get straight to the next server, straight onto the next super mutant, get it done as quick as possible. Um, I tell you, it's good for attachments down here, the hollow side. I found three hollow sites on one run before. I was really happy about that. Just drop that second, unload that clip. So yeah, I found three hollow sites uh, down here in one run. You're going to find hollow sites more than anything, but you can also find your grips, your A cogs, your comebacks. Thank you, uh, you know what I mean? You're going to find just about everything. <laughs> Why I said try and bring a two shot weapon because most zombies down here do sprint. Like, I'd say at least 30% of them are sprinters. Rangefinder, I don't need that. Danag mag, not bad. Um, I've just missed these couple of cars. You can go back and do them if you want. I don't, I don't really see the point. Got your wrench, don't need that. Always check the cop cars for the shotguns and the MP5s. If you like MP5s, me, I love them, so that's why I collect them. Not because they're a good gun, just because, like, I really like, I, I just like MP5s, you know what I mean? Not on this game, on every game, I love MP5s. Right, so we're gonna jump up on here, boom. We've got an M4 here straight away. Alright, so I'm gonna take the clip out of this, so I'm not... There we go. I'm a little bit, like... I'm at the end of my loot run, because my backpack's full. I have got a militant um, back at my base that I'm going to chuck on next time I go back there. Crap the armor. Come up here, have a look. You can find, like, I found attachments here in the grass, and there you look. A gun hiding in the grass, You can that's going to happen a lot. Like, a lot. It's bit, you don't see them very well. Parts from one to other, easiest way. Run up, there you go, hollow sight. Like I said, you're gonna find a lot of them. I have I have quite a few hollow sights at the minute because of doing this loot run. Got that. Oh, am I still too much weight? I'm like really overweight. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep moving, I'll let the zombie catch me up with that silencer. Pretty sure that was a silencer. Oh no, it was the clips that I dropped. Bloody hell. How excited then. A G36 mag. Is indeed. Take that. AK. Alright, I don't want the AK, but I do want the clip. So I can use the clip in my AK-47 that I have. Yeah, I'm still at eight. Got the night visions, I need them. And I can um, reload that. 
there we go. This is where I log out. You will always come back when you change server to where I originally started. So to finish the video, I'm going to show you probably 10, I'll, I'll show you 10 kills and you can see what I get from them 10 kills. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped. If you have any advice for me or any tips, leave it in the comments. Um, it's really much appreciated. Also, if there's anything you would like me to cover in this game, um, you know, like you're looking for a certain gun or something like that, uh, like again, leave it in the comments and I will try and sort that out for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Super Nanamo and Red Scar. Go, Barbato. And Scar, what else? I can't see Mag 100, not too bad, but... You can... K-Style Night Vision. Thank you very much. That's what we were after. EKM ammo. EKM ammo. <laughs> Bad. Get over here. That's the worst prop I've ever had. Oh, me. K style and a night vision K style. Oh no, two K styles. So, wait. Oh, nice. She works well. An AK drum. Got an AK on there. Sweet.